everyone, my name is Brooke with Intergroup Instruments and today we're going to be talking about routine leak tests for your anesthesia equipment. We're going to have all of the steps that we go through linked down below in the description if you need to go back and look at them, but today we're going to run you through those steps. If your oxygen pressure regulator is equipped with two gauges, you will be able to leak test your oxygen delivery lines. To do this, open the bottle valve and pressurize the lines to the preset pressure. Then close the valve. Now observe the pressure gauge after 30 minutes. It should still read approximately 50 psi after that. If the gauge remains steady at 50 psi, you can be confident that your supply lines and fittings are not leaking. If you do not have dual, a dual gauge regulator, you will not be able to perform this test. If you're concerned that you may have an oxygen leak, please seek professional help. Pure oxygen can be dangerous. So I'm going to be demonstrating a basic veterinary anesthesia leak test on this system here. This should be done prior to any surgery that's going to be using anesthesia. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to do is make sure that your oxygen supply is turned on and your flow meter is turned off. Next you're going to identify which circuit you're going to be pressurizing or testing um, by using the switch over here. So ours is switched over to the Bain circuit. Next you need to attach your patient circuit hose and attach the oxygen supply line right here. Make sure that your breathing bag down here is attached as well. Next is to make sure that the pop-off valve is turned to closed. Next you're going to occlude the end of the hose with your palm just like that. We're going to go over to the flush button and we're going to press it to pressurize the circuit to 15 centimeters of water. And press it Watch the bag inflate, and now keep an eye on the gauge as it goes up to 15. And now we are going to continue blocking the end of the hose and hold it for 15 to 20 seconds, making sure that the pressure is not going down, because if it's going down you know that you have a leak somewhere. Ours is staying pretty steady. And there we go, we know that our system is working fine. Thank you everybody for watching. We hope you learned something today. Until the next time, stay safe.